Hello friends, welcome to Law and GK. So friends, on this channel we discuss the contents of law and previous year papers of judicial services and other legal exams. And friends, we have already started our Jharkhand Judicial Services series. And we have already discussed the paper of 2018 which was held in 2019. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the preliminary exam paper of Jharkhand Judicial Services 2015B. Look, in 2015, there were two notifications that came out. One was a special notification. One was R and one was B. So, in today's video, we are discussing this 2015B part which was held on 2nd of July 2016. I hope that these videos will be very useful for you. So friends, if you are preparing for judicial services, this channel will be very useful for you. It will be very beneficial for you. And if you like this video, please like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and while subscribing, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our upcoming videos. And if you have good efforts, then in addition to like and subscribe, kindly give us a super thanks. Super thanks is a way to appreciate the content creator. You can appreciate the content creator for whatever you want to donate. You can donate as much as you want to donate. Minimum is 40 rupees. So don't forget to give us a super thanks. So let's move on to the question paper. In 2015, how can you differentiate from B and R from B and R? Look, this is the second paper. Look, what is written in this paper? R. There were two notifications and two exams. Look, R and R. This is the question paper. 2015 B, series A. 100 marks. This is booklet number. You have to fill your roll number here. Black and blue ballpoint pen can be used. One mark and no negative marking. I have downloaded this paper from the Jharkhand Public Service Commission website. So you can also download this from there. And if you cannot find it over there, just look at, at our Telegram channel. You will get it over there. So question number one is, a nephrologist treats the disorder of किडनी नेफ्रोलॉजी बोलते हैं ना किडनी स्टडी को सी इज़ दी आंसर नर्वस सिस्टम कौन करता है न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट है ना ईयर का ऑटोलॉजिस्ट नीज पैडिक्स है ना नेक्स्ट इज़ टू बीच ऑफ़ द फॉलोइंग इज़ अ पैसिव सेंटेंस यू मस्ट कम इन टाइम ही वाज़ टेकन टू हॉस्पिटल इट हैज़ बीन रेनिंग फॉर � this is three. The word which is most similar in the meaning to the word illegitimate is eligible. What is the meaning of eligible? Which cannot be read. जो पढ़ने में ना आए है ना illegal, illegitimate. B is the answer. Illogical without any logic. कोई logic नहीं है. Illiberal. जो कि liberal नहीं है. Not liberal. Next is four. A person who can speak or use many languages is called a Polyglot, C is the answer. Bilingual, two languages. Monolingual, single language. One language can speak. All right, polygon is a shape, obviously. This is five. Identify the correct expression. Your faithfully hota hai, yours faithfully hota hai. Yours faithfully hota hai. B is the answer. This is six. Man is a social animal. So which type of sentence is this? This is a interrogative, no, imperative, no, exclamatory, no, declarative sentence. D is the answer. Next is seven. Which of the following is not acceptable in the standard English? Professorship, yes. Leadership, yes. Scholarship, yes. Lectureship, no. A is the answer. Next is 8. Identify the misspelled word. So, proceeding, double E, they shall be double E, proceeding, you know, preceding, this is correct, proceeding, this is correct, procedure, this is correct. A is the answer. Next is 9. Find the odd word in the following. Heat, seat, sweat, meat. So, heat, seat, meat. And this is called as sweat. It, if it is double E, then it's sweet. C is the answer. This is 10. Fill in the blank with an appropriate article in the following. She died. 
इन बाय फ्रॉम डाइड फ्रॉम होता है या फिर ऑफ डाइड ऑफ कॉलरा डी इज द आंसर इस इज इलेवन वेन ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इंग्लैंड वॉज रूल्ड बाय स्टूअर्ड्स बी इज द आंसर एस इज ट्वेल्व द इक्विटोरियल रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर सी इज द आंसर ने थर्टीन द ग्रेट ग्रामेरियन पतंजलि ऑफ एंशंट इंडिया वॉज हूज कॉन्टेम्परी अमंग द फॉलोविंग चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य अशोक या फिर पुष्य मित्र सू सी इज द आंसर नोट वासुमित्र नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट विद स्टेट्स दैट द नंबर ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन लोकसभा एंड स्टेट असेंबलीज आर फ्रीज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन सेंसस अंटिल द नेक्स्ट सेंसस टू बी टेकन आफ्टर इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैट वॉज एटी फोर्थ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट डी इज द आंसर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन द टर्म फिजिकल डेफिसिट मीन्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजिकल डेफिसिट टोटल रिसिप्ट माइनस एक्सपेंडिचर यस दिस इज करेक्ट ए इज द आंसर ने सिक्सटीन इफ पेंडुलम क्लॉक बी टेकन फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर टू द पोल्स इट विल रन स्लो रन फास्ट इट विल रन फास्ट बी इज द आंसर नेक्स्ट सेवनटीन ऑर्डिनरी सॉल्ट इज सोडियम क्लोराइड वट इज बेकिंग सोडा इट इज सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट सी इज द आंसर This is eighteen. Who among the following was appointed as the new chairman of Atomic Energy Commission? So at that time, Shekhar Basu was the chairman. So who was the first chairman? Homi Bhabha. It might come in exam. And now, who is the current chairman? Ajit Kumar Mohanty. Okay. Next nineteen. Which of the following cities were announced as host of the twenty twenty two Commonwealth Games? C 2022 Commonwealth Games was held in Birmingham all right and next 2026 host city is Victoria in Australia next 20 which country is ranked first among 189 economies in world banks doing business 2016 that was Singapore and in 2023 it is still Singapore Next twenty one, the object of pleading is to bring the parties to an issue, or to prevent the issues being enlarged. To know the exact cause of action, all of the above. D is the answer. Where the provision for pleading in Order Six of CPC. Next twenty two pleadings are the statement of the parties in form of plaint and written statement. Yes, for evidence. No statement of witness. No, 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 no. A is the answer. It is mentioned in Order Six, Rule One. Next twenty three, defendant should state his defence in the plain or written statement. In the written statement, B is the answer. And where is the provision for written statement? Order Eight and plain Order Seven, CPC. Next twenty four, particulars can be demanded under Order Six, Rule Four. A is the answer. Order seven. I have just mentioned it is plaint, and eight is written statement. Fourteen is framing of issues, and order six is what leading. Next twenty five. A suit instituted in the name of wrong plaintiff or defendant may be amended under CPC under order one, rule ten two. Okay, six, seven, eight. No, A is the answer. Next twenty six. The plaint shall be rejected where it does not disclose the cause of action. Yes, it is correct. The provision of rejection of plaint is mentioned in Order Seven, Rule Eleven, where it is not properly drafted. No, court has no jurisdiction. No, it has several mistakes in draft. No, the perfect answer which is mentioned in Rule Eleven is A in Clause D. Next twenty seven. Written statement may be filed by defendant under. Order eight, rule one, as I mentioned earlier, 
A is the answer. Six is pleading. Seven, plaint. Seventy-eight, the set-off may be claimed for the certain sum of money in a debt suit. Yes, it is correct for suit of unliquidated damages. No, beyond the limit of pecuniary jurisdiction of court. No, claiming the right other than money suit. No, that is counterclaim, है ना? So A is the answer in this set-off का provision कहाँ है? Where is the provision for set-off? Order eight, rule six. Next twenty-nine, framing of wrong issue. Is fatal or is not fatal? Judgment or decree can be set aside on the ground of wrong issue. It is correct. C is the answer. Framing of issue is mentioned in where? Order fourteen. Next thirty. Which of the following order of CPC is the biggest order? It is order twenty one. B is the answer. It is for execution of decree. Twenty is judgment and decree. Twenty two is. Death, marriage, insolvency suit. Next one, next thirty one. In which order rule of CPC the court may order to strike out or add parties at the stage of civil proceedings? That is order one, rule ten, sub rule two. Uh, see the same question has been asked again. This also has happened in the previous paper as well. Same question asked twice. You can see this one here. Question number twenty-five, and now this question number thirty-one. Same question, same answer. And thirty-two. Fundamental rules of pleadings are contained in what is six rule two. B is the answer. And thirty-three. Conciseness can be accomplished by omitting unnecessary facts, or by omitting details of material facts. No, no. By paying due attention to the language used in pleading. Next thirty four. In which section the amendment of clerical arithmetical mistakes in judgment decree and orders is allowed under the CPC? That is order one fifty two. A is the answer. Next thirty five. CPC consists of how many orders? Fifty one orders. B is the answer. Next thirty six. The power of Supreme Court to transfer cases and appeals from one High Court to another High Court can be exercised on application by Attorney General of India. B is the answer. It is mentioned in Section four zero six CRPC. Next thirty seven. Which of the following section of CPC is related with legal aid to accused at state expenses? That is three zero four. A is the answer. Next thirty eight inquiry under CRPC is conducted by magistrate. A is the answer, and court as well. So either A or B. D is the answer. Next thirty nine application for anticipatory bail may be made before High Court or Court of Session. Both A and B. This also should be A or B. D is the answer. There is a provision for anticipatory bail in CRPC. Four thirty-eight. Next forty. Which of the following court can try summarily the offence mentioned in section two sixty? CGM, Metropolitan Magistrate, any magistrate of first class, especially empowered by High Court. All of the above. D is the answer. Where this is mentioned in section two sixty itself. Next forty-one. The procedure for summary trial is provided in which of the following section of CRPC? Two sixty two to sixty five C is the answer. Next forty two under which section of CRPC inherent powers can be exercised by the High Court? Section four eighty two A is the answer. Next forty three. Who among the following cannot claim maintenance under section one twenty five four of CRPC? A wife lives in adultery. No. Wife living by mutual consent. No. So both cannot. So C is the answer. Next forty-four. Which of the following is not correctly matched? Arrest by private person. It is mentioned in section forty-three. Arrest by magistrate forty-four. How made forty-six by police without warrant forty-one. So which is wrong? A. A is the answer. Next forty-five. Private person may arrest any person who, in his presence, commits. A non-believable and cognizable offence. So, 
D is the answer. Again, section is 43 CRPC. Next 46, the maximum period for which a magistrate may send the arrested person in police custody is 15 days and that is only first 15 days from date of arrest. So B is the, from a date of presence before the magistrate. So B is the answer. Next 47, which of the following offenses is not compoundable? So 323 is simple hurt. 334, voluntary causing hurt on provocation. This is also compoundable. 307, attempt to murder, not compoundable. 379, theft compoundable. So C is the answer. Compounding of offenses is mentioned where? Section 320, CRPC. As 48, warrant case means a case relating to an offense punishable with up to one year imprisonment. After more than two year imprisonment, C is the answer. Where it is defined in section 2X of CRPC. Next 49, the case of Muhammad Ahmed Khan versus Shaban or Begum is related with maintenance. B is the answer. And where is the provision? Section 125 CRPC. Next 50, which of the following section of CRPC provides for confirmation? This is confirmation by High Court of an order of death sentence given by the Session Court. That is Section 366A is the answer. And it is very controversial question. Several states give the answer of 368. Several states give the answer of 366. But the power of confirmation is in 368. And when court of session gives the odd sentence of death, it submits this order before high court. And submission of that order before high court is provided in section 366. So kindly understand this thing. Okay. So you can answer it properly. A is the answer. Next 51, which of the following section of CRPC is related with security of good behavior from suspected person? That is 109B is the answer. I always mention and I always talk about a small chart. Mention section here 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. So put the provisions here on, on conviction other cases seditious 108 suspected 109 and habitual offender 110 and what is the maximum period for security three year one year one year three year and who can take court of session gm fc mm and here em 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 so whenever you go in the exam whenever you get the paper just just write this chart on your rough page Next 52, which of the following is the content of charge, name of the offense, law which the offense is said to have been committed, yes, both, C is the answer. Contents of charges provided where, section 211 CRPC. Next 53, who framed the charge, charge framed by court, D is the answer. Next 54, which of the following section of CRPC is related with withdrawal of prosecution session 321 b is the answer what is 320 compounding of offenses just mentioned it next 55 in summary trial the maximum punishment is three months a is the answer where this is mentioned it is mentioned in section 262 of crpc and particularly in subsection 2 Next 56, Evidence Act came into force on 1st September 1872. B is the answer. Next 57, which of the following statement is incorrect about dying declaration? Dying declaration is not defined in Evidence Act. It is correct. Under English law, expectation of death is necessary. This is also correct. Under Indian law, expectation of death is necessary. No. It must relate to the cause of death of the deceased person they should have mentioned properly so which is wrong in here it is incorrect c is the answer where is the provision for dying declaration under section 32 1 of evidence act next 58 hostile witness is defined in none of the above d is the answer how it is not defined anywhere the same question has been asked in 
ADA examination paper of 2016. Next 59, match the correct option. Accomplice is mentioned in section 133, correct. Leading question, no, it is in 141. 137 is examination in chief, cross examination and re-examination. Private document is in 75 and 74 is public document. Judicial notice in 57. So this is also wrong and 17 is admission. So which one is correct? A, accomplice. A is the answer. Next 60, if the confession is taken in consequence of a deception, it will become irrelevant. It does not become irrelevant. It does not become irrelevant. B is the answer. Next 61, which of the following statement is correct about evidence of character? Character includes only reputation ya fir disposition. Both are wrong now. Evidence of character is not relevant in criminal cases. This is wrong. Evidence of character is not relevant in civil cases. This is correct. D is the answer. And with the provisions for character in this option D is section 52 and all these are 53, 54 and 55. Next 62, section 113A of Indian Evidence Act was inserted in the year 1983. A is the answer. And 113B was inserted in 1986. Next 63, which of the following statement is incorrect about admission? It is defined in section 17, yes. It can be made only by the party to the suit or proceedings. No. It is relevant in both civil and criminal cases. Yes. Section 23 of Indian Evidence Act applies to civil cases only. This is correct. So what is wrong? B is wrong. Next 64. Oral account of the contents of document given by some person who has himself seen it is considered as it is secondary evidence. C is the answer and this is provided in section 63 of evidence act. Primary is in section 62 and 64. Next 65. The case of Ram Bharose versus state of UP is related with privileged communication. A is the answer between husband and wife. Next 66. The case of Palvinder Kaur versus state of Punjab is related with Confession. B is the answer. Next 67. Which of the following section is related with related with evidence as to affairs of state? Section 123. C is the answer. Next 68. Which of the following is correct statement? Reading question may not be asked in cross examination. No, this is wrong. It is in asked in cross examination it is mentioned in section 143 questions intended to insult or annoy can be asked in cross examination no this is also wrong reading question is defined in section 141 this is wrong reading question must not be asked in re-examination this is correct so d is the answer next 69 the case of harvey versus facey is related with is related with Offer and invitation to offer. A is the answer. Bumper hall pen. Remember this case. Next 70. In which of the following case it is said that public policy is unruly horse. In Adam vs. In Adam vs. Lindsell. Richardson vs. Malish. B is the answer. And said by whom? Justice Borrow. Next 71, the case of Mohari Bibi versus Ramdas Ghosh was decided by Privy Council in the year 1903. C is the answer. Next 72, an agreement on the happening of event, impossible event, is void under section 36. D is the answer. Next 73, which is the following section of contract act is related with the novation of contract. That is section 62. A is the answer. Next 74, the case of Satyabrit Ghosh versus Mugniram is related with impossibility of performance. C is the answer. Next 75, promises which forms the consideration or part of consideration for each other are called 
reciprocal promise b is the answer and where this is mentioned is mentioned in section 2 f of contract act next 76 the case of state of west bengal versus b k mandal is related with quasi contract d is the answer next 77 which of the following section of contract act is related with the anticipatory breach of contract that is section 39 a is the answer next 78 a promises for no consideration to give to b rupees 1000 this is a void agreement Agreement without consideration is void ab initio. C is the answer. And this is illustration in section 25. Next 79. A contract to pay rupees 10,000 if B's house is burnt. This is an contingent contract. D is the answer. And this is illustration in section 31 of contract act. Next 80, which is the following section of contract act define bailment? 148 A is the answer. Next 81, which of the following statement is correct? Agent is defined in section 183 of contract act. No, it is defined in 182. Any person can appoint agent. Yes, but major person shall appoint. Anna? Fir consideration is necessary to create an agency. No, no consideration is necessary to create an agency. Section 185. So D is correct. D is the answer. Next 82. The right of private defense of property extend to causing death when offense apprehended is theft, decathy, mischief or house trespass. Decathy. B is the answer. And where is the right of private defense of property extend to causing death? Section 103 IPC. Next 83, in which of the following section 124A of IPC was added? That was in 1898. D is the answer. Next 84, which of the following statement is not correct? Common intention itself an offense? No. Abatement may be done by conspiracy? Yes. A criminal conspiracy is defined in section 128 this is correct so a is not correct a is the answer as 85 a voluntarily burns a valuable security belonging to z intending to cause wrongful loss to z a has committed the offense of mischief b is the answer and this is illustration a to section 425 mischief Next 86, when two or more person by fighting in a public place disturbs the public peace, it is called as AFRA, defined in section 159 IPC, A is the answer. Writing is mentioned in where, right, writing is mentioned in section 146, unlawful assembly 149, public nuisance 268 IPC. Next 87, assault in order to outrage the modesty of a woman is punishable under section 354 IPC. B is the answer. Next 88, under IPC, which of the following is not grievous hurt? Emasculation, yes. Dislocation of bone, yes. Permanent disfiguration of face, yes. Any hurt which causes the sufferer to be during the space of 15 days, no, it is not. It shall be 20 days at least. And this is mentioned section 320 IPC grievous hurt key definition of grievous hurt not correct is D D is the answer next 89 taking out movable property from the possession of a dead man is offense of criminal misappropriation mentioned in section 404 C is the answer theft is defined where 378 extortion 383 this is 90. In which the following case, Supreme Court has struck down Section 303 IPC as unconstitutional. Very common case. That is Mithu Singh versus State of Punjab. A is the answer. Next 91. Which of the following section of IPC is related with causing death by negligence? That is Section 304A. B is the answer. Next 92, which of the following section of IPC is based on the maxim de minimis non curate lex 
ट्रीवियल हार्म शैल नॉट कॉज अ क्रिमिनल एक्शन This 95 D is the answer. Next 93 match the correct option. Public just mentioned this action 268 is incorrect. Harboring the offender 212 this is also incorrect. Fabricating false evidence 192 this is correct. Affray is I just mentioned in 159 146 is writing. So which is correct? C. C is the answer. Next ninety four. Durham's rule related with insanity. A is the answer. Next ninety five. Which of the following is not an essential element of common intention under section thirty four? Criminal act done by several person. Yes. In furtherance of common intention. Yes. Pre arranged plan between person doing criminal act. Yes. Act done in furtherance of common intention. So B and D are contradictory. So only one is correct. So B, if B is correct and D is incorrect, so incorrect is asked here, not an essential. So D is the answer. Next ninety six. Which of the following is not a valuable security? Rent note. It is postal receipt for an insured parcel. No, it is not. Yes, obviously promissory note. Yes, deed of divorce. No, D is the answer. Next ninety seven use of violence by a member of an assembly of five or more person in furtherance of common object will constitute the offence of rioting. C is the answer. Where it is mentioned in section one forty six IPC. Unlawful assembly mentioned where one forty one assault three fifty and affray is section one fifty nine IPC. Next ninety eight the case of R versus Doodle and Stephen is. Related to the defense of necessity, D is the answer. Next ninety nine, which of the following case is not related to criminal attempt? Sudhir versus State of West Bengal, yes. Abhyanand Mishra, yes. State of Maharashtra versus Yakub, yes. State of Rajasthan versus Om Prakash, no. D is the answer. Next hundred, valuable security is defined in section thirty O of IPC. D is the answer so friends here we have discussed all the questions of preliminary exam paper of jharkhand judicial services for the year 2015 2015 b exam paper which was held on 2nd july 2016 agar aapko isme koi kami lagi ho koi suggestion ho koi advice ho koi comments ho to aap jo hai comment section mein jaakar bhi likh sakte hain we always appreciate your comments and अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी और एफर्ट्स हमारे अच्छे लगे हो तो उसको जरूर लाइक कीजिएगा शेयर कीजिएगा अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ सो दैट दे कैन कम टू नम अबाउट आवर चैनल एंड वो भी बेनिफिट ले सकें एंड अगर आपको हमारे एफर्ट्स अच्छे लगे हो तो इन एडिशन टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब कांडली गिव से सुपर थैंक्स सुपर थैंक्स इज अ वे टू अप्रिशिएट दी कंटेंट क्रिएटर आप जो है जो भी कंटेंट बनाता है उसको अप्रिशिएट करने के लिए कोई भी अमाउंट जो है डोनेट कर सकते हैं फ्रॉम मिनिमम स्टार्ट विद फोर्टी रुपीज तो काइंडली गिव से सुपर थैंक्स सो फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू